Bye. Welcome to Cryptocurrency Blockchain News, your daily cryptocurrency blockchain aggregated news show on YouTube. Look, look, there's going to be drinking. Look, look, there's going to be smoking. Look, look, there's going to be swearing. Look, look, there's going to be some. Look, look. So you've been warned. You're coming three. Look, look, two. All right, here's your last chance. One. Bye. Welcome, everybody. Black, white, gay, straight, Christian, Muslim, Jew. My name's Shamar Clark. Welcome to Cryptocurrency Blockchain News, the greatest show on earth, the greatest show in the multiverse. The multiverse. <laughs> great show in the multiverse. <laughs> and, well, being so great, we have a great show for you today. Bye. So I decided to keep it a little simple today. Be, I have so much to talk to you guys about, but I, I figured it would be good for the Saturday show when we get a little bit more loose. Right? When we get a little bit more loose, because there's going to be a lot of yap yap. I got Bloomberg, Bloomberg Terminal talk and all sorts of stuff. So I figured today we'd just keep it nice and simple and just pop, 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 three nice quick onboardings. Pop, pop, pop. Just a little pop, pop, pop. Okay? So, ontology to empower new energy vehicle. There's ontology. We haven't really talked about those guys much around here. Oh, and speaking of talking much, for all you Cardano hodlers, Shamari, talk about Cardano. Settle down. Yes, we'll talk about it tomorrow. I got something for you tomorrow. <laughs> Motherfucker, I'm not a DJ. You don't request songs here. <laughs> this shit's got to, you know, you're, 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 the thing you like has to do something, and then we talk about it, right? It, this isn't, it's, <laughs> I'm not DJ Poppywood. Fucking just ask me for a song, and I'll play it for you. <laughs> but I got one for you. <laughs> Cardano lovers, bang, I got one for you tomorrow. Don't worry. Well, it's just an update, really, but since you're asking for it, fuck it. I'm just going to throw it in there. All right, and then Iota. Oh, wait, I fucking didn't write the whole thing. Wait. Oh, yeah, IOTA is going to commercialize data. Ah, commercialize data. So, oh, hey, this, this, you know when we read IOTA stories, they're always really techie techie, so. Yeesh. So we're going to read it. <laughs> we're going to read it. And that, V-Chain. So, again, not the usual mega V-Chain stuff. Uh, v Chain, there's some virtual 3D game that's going to run on the V Chain blockchain. And it's like a whole world. Like, uh, yeah, you get to like buy property and all this shit in it, you know? Uh, all right. Uh, oh, did you see that shit last night? Here in America, there were riots around the country because a black guy got killed. So they flip in, they burnt down a police station yesterday. <laughs> whoa whoa burning down a police station that's mega that's mega i mean riots and shit happen yeah you, you loot stuff you, you break windows of, of stores and shit steal stuff or whatever but burning down a police station yeah they evacuated the cops like we better get out of here these fucking people are too pissed yeah people were pissed people were lighting flames you know there's a little nigerian saying a little nigerian parable that uh, is is good about what happened last night and about sort of America. Here's a little saying, America. If a child does not feel warmth from the village, he will burn it down that he may feel warmth from the fire. <laughs> okay, I want you to think about that in the noodle. If a child does not feel warmth in the village, he will burn that village down and take his warmth from the fire. All right, let's move on. Let's get back to crypto. <laughs> Bye. Let's move. Let's get going how we do around these parts. Bye. Well, that's what you saw last night. A lot of people getting warm from that fire. <laughs> look, look. It's Bitcoin, $9,422. All right. What are we working with here? And when I left you yesterday, we were at $9,562. So we went down $140 exactly. All right. Look, look, top 10 of the day, brothers. Usual suspects. Top 10, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Tether. Oh, Tether once again takes over the number three. Uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Tether, XRP, Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin SV, Litecoin, Binance Coin, EOS, and, excuse me, Tezos. Still holding on to number 10. Holy, Tezos is not giving that up. You guys remember last year? It was, everyone was jockeying, right? It was Cardano, and, and then Tron, and then Monero, and... Well, Tezos is just locking down that number 10 this year, right? They've had that for a good quarter now. It's been about three months, isn't it? 
maybe more. All right, anyways, man. I know you boys are talking about, yeah, a lot of you guys are talking about Tezos lately, the staking thing. You guys like the staking thing. All right. Uh, so market moves of the day. Uh, you know, the usual song. Single digits up, single digits down, brothers and sisters. Uh, a little single digit up to single digit down action. The usual. Oh, you look at Maker. That's crazy. Bang. Single this up, single this down. <clears throat> single this up, single this down. Single this up, single this down too. Single this up too. Single digit down. All right. Let us see who lost money today. You see anything on here you like? Go get it because it is on sale. <clears throat> but top 10 loser of the day. Unibright, Electronium, Theta, Numeraer, Ren, Hedera, Hashgraph, Solve, Energy, Engine Coin, and ABBC Coin. Let's see who made money today, brothers and sisters. Bang. Yeah, look at that Maker thing. Bang. There was something about Maker. What was that? I vaguely saw something today. I don't remember what it was. All right. Uh, top 10 gainers of the day. Maker, Abe, Chili's, Block Stack, Made Safe Coin, Nexo, Quant, Ethereum Classic, Loop Ring, and Seal N. All right. Let us look at total mark cap of the day, brothers and sisters. Total mark cap is 262.9. And when I left yesterday, we're at, oh, so we're at 260, sorry, $262.9 billion today in total market cap. When I left yesterday, we're at 266.3 in total market cap. So we've gone down, what's that, $3.6 billion. So look, all right, let's see, 24-hour volume is, if you barely hang on, all right, 108.7. So today's total 24-hour volume is $108.7 billion. Well, after yesterday, we're at $109.2 billion. So we've gone down $0.5 billion. All right. So look, let's get on to some stories. Some quick little, quick little, <laughs> and these are little compared to what we usually read about these guys. Bang. Well, actually, first of all, this ontology one. So bang with the ontology. Partnership ontology to empower new energy vehicle. Little, little, little. Am I talking like a? Ontology to empower new energy vehicle industry with blockchain. All right. So, you know, it's not really much to yap about. Let's get, oh, let me just get a sip and then we'll get into it. So, I guess the only thing to yap about is we never talk about ontology here. And that's what I mean, guys. Like, you guys ask me to talk about coins. I don't do it like that. Like, what's there to talk about? If it's not doing nothing, what do you want me to say? Right, if they haven't onboarded anything, well, what's there to talk about? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I know, I mean, I'm going to do the Shelly upgrade thing tomorrow, the Cardano thing. That's different. That's different. The only reason I do Cardano and IOTA upgrades, uh, why do you do them? Well, I do them. I do the Cardano ones because I'm waiting for Shelly myself. I like it, so that's just a personal thing. And then the IOTA upgrades, well. You know, because they have so many onboardings and shit. You want to hear kind of what other features. Or by reading about them, you get a feel for the other kind of things that they're about to try to get into or something, right? I don't read about upgrades and stuff. And so, yeah, guys. So when you guys ask me, read about this, read about that. Well, read about what? Shoot me a URL. If they've onboarded something, I'll read it. All right? I don't choose. It's not like I, I go, hey, today I want to talk about ontology or today I want to talk about IOTA. I read a bunch of websites, and if the same story shows up on like five, six sites, all right, well, that's what I'm reading. <laughs> yeah, it's it's not really rocket science what I'm doing. All right, guys, so if you want me to read something, always send me a URL showing me an onboarding, revenue generating. Show me something revenue generating. All right. <sighs> ontology to empower new energy vehicle industry with blockchain. Let's check it out. Blockchain Project Ontology has made a step forward 
moving into the new energy logistics vehicle industry via a partnership with Korean firm Kayun Delivery, a broad scope logistics service provider that specializes on urban transportation and terminal end deliveries. The partnership announced today, May 29th, sees Ontology embark on its first foray towards the new energy vehicle industry. The partnership is expected to help KUN Delivery achieve more effective, cheaper, and easy-to-use transport capacity model. Oh, hold on, hold on, sorry. <laughs> cheaper and easy-to-use transport capacity model as Ontology provides the logistic company state-of-art services. Uh, Kayun would also enjoy full digitization of its entire chain, mobilizing the technical qualities of Ontology to improve information sharing. Kayun would use Ontology blockchain solution to record all information and promote mutual trust among multiple parties. Ontology to develop custom D app for Kayun delivery. So, the major highlight of the partnership would be the development of a custom decentralized app, D app. That would be used to record all customer and formulated data on the Ontology blockchain network. The D app would feature extensive features, which are highlighted in the blog article released by Ontology. The D app would contain a home delivery system that would enable the firm to check the location of vehicles, drivers, track vehicle paths, and produce status in real time and product status in real time. What? So they're kind of what are they kind of like tracking uber eats drivers or something delivery drivers i don't know putting it on ontology uh sounds like it this would help kun delivery analyze real-time operations and improve their supply chain efficiency also the delivery driver's behavior information would also be recorded on the ontology blockchain and ensure that their safety and rights are effectively guaranteed the details, well, and to ensure that they're on their routes, making sure they're not stopping off at their girlfriend's house for a quick look, look, right? Anyways, the details such as delivery status and changes in vehicle paths will be fully transparent. Exactly. Making sure they know where you're going. Uh, leading to greater user experience for the recipients. Furthermore, Ontology and KUN Delivery will jointly formulate specific plans to improve the transport capacity Promoting the launch of dApps and other related products. What? Anyway, uh, the partnership showcases the progress that Ontology has made in its quest to traditional industries with blockchain technology. The new energy logistic vehicle industry is one that has potentials due to lack of major investments, and Ontology are well placed to profit from this. All right, so anyway, bang, Ontology holders, there you go. There you go. New energy vehicle industry with blockchain. I didn't hear any energy part. I heard about a whole bunch of delivery stuff, but... So there you go, Ontology Hodlers. Bang! Let's move on. Fuck. I didn't even understand what the fuck. Oh, and this shit here, so... You know, IOTA... All right, let me get a sip. I'm just going to read this. But, uh... These IOTA stories... Fuck, they're always so techy, techy. Right? They always got to tell you how this works and that works and this, this. Look, look. Just tell me if it works or not. You know what I mean? I don't know how a car works. All I know is how I put the key in the engine. I put the key in the engine. See? That's how stupid. No, just kidding. I put the key in the thing, turn it, press the gas, it goes forward. I don't need to know all the engine. You know how it all works inside and all that. Does it get me from A to B? Fine, fine. <laughs> right? These on, on IOTA stories, they're always telling you. It's like they're telling you about the car, but then they got to sit down and tell you everything about the engine. Fuck! I don't care about the engine. Is this fucking car going to get me from here to there? Great, great. That's good enough. That's all I need to know. Yeah. We have professionals who handle the engine part. Mechanics. All right. Well, here we go. GODB has announced an IOTA-based protocol for the validation of information under the Name Proof Provision Protocol. So it's called Name Proof Provision Protocol. 
uh, the company was already in the headlines at CNF a few days ago when it presented an iota-based app for the containment of the coronavirus. We read about that one the other day. So the company's goal is to enable users to securely commercialize their data. So users will be able to commercialize their data. So, uh, wait a second. Right. However, this process requires mechanisms that give credibility to the data provided, which is why GODB has now introduced the proof provision protocol. This protocol builds on IOTA's distributed ledger technology, the Tangle, to provide transparency to the data validation process. For the verification mechanism, the protocol relies on SHA 256 to reduce the risk of invasion of user privacy. See, they're getting so deep into the techie techie. Here we go. All right, so here we go. IOTA based proof provision protocol guarantees the validity of data. The protocol consists of two main components the channels of the provision of proofs, and the provision of the data. The former are inspired by the MAM channels, recently renamed and redesigned by or to IOTA streams, and are based on the concept of the Merkle tree. As, Geo, as GODB describes, not all functions of the MAM channels, MAM channels are, are needed. Moreover, at the time of the decision to develop the protocol, MAM was still in the alpha stage, so that a separate solution was needed. According to GODB, when the protocol was created, it was important that the user's data was protected and visibility could be controlled through public, private, and restricted channels. For this purpose, GODB uses the concept of key pairs, public and private, which are generated using Eclipse Curve cryptology, SECP256K1. Holy shit. From the public key, does anyone understand what the fuck I'm even saying here? <laughs> I sure don't. From the public key, the IOTA address is generated, i.e. the address where all information that is validated is stored. In principle, only the owner of the private key that generated the data can decrypt and access the data. The data from the channels are written to the IOTA tangle using the provision strategy. For this, all data is first stored in a buffer until a condition is fulfilled. Then the process for sending the data to the IOTA tangle is triggered. As GODB further describes, during the provision process, all data is shared with third-party providers. All right. It is necessary to highlight that all information stored in the proof provision channel needs to be notified to the provision app, third-party app. The proof provision channel info together with the shared data itself, along with some authorization info, allow the third-party app to verify the proofs, request regard, rewards to GODB, and gives the corresponding reward to each user identity. A detailed description of the GODB protocol or its deployment strategy can be found in the official blog post. Huh. That wasn't the detailed description, motherfucker. Furthermore, the team has announced to publish another post explaining how the how they provide the data. So, bang! All right, look. All right, so look. <laughs> so, it's another onboarding for IOTA, and that's why we're reading it. Do I understand what was just said? Not really. Sound like a bunch of validation and proofing and stuff like this, and then they're going to sell the data. Great. All right. Let's just get out of here. I didn't understand a lick of that. Bye. <laughs> Holy crap. Every time these IOTA stories, right, they're always so techy, techy. They always get into the, right? All right. A, a virtual 3D game uses VeChain Thor blockchain. All right. And so, again, not the usual mega VeChain things we usually read. Like the one, what, oh. Right, like yesterday, VeChain onboarding Bayer Drug Company, but whatever, you know, like, an onboarding is an onboarding, brothers. <laughs> so, like I said, this channel, that's what it's about. If it onboards five bucks, whoop, we're going to talk about it. So, look, let's get into it. All right. VeChain is a promising project in the crypto market, which has already established countless partnerships with well known companies like BMW. DB Schenker, Walmart, PricewaterhouseCoopers. VeChain's blockchain is versatile, so that application cases have already been created in the automotive, logistics, pharmaceutical, food, and beverage, but also in the gaming industry. 
A new 3D game has recognized this potential and relies completely on the VeChain Thor blockchain. All right. So VeChain's getting in some games. Whatever. I don't really... Uh, Vulcanizer 3D is based on VeChain Thor. Uh, Vulcanverse is a fully decentralized virtual world powered by VTHO, gas from VeChain, where players can own, cultivate, sell, and interact with each other through avatars. Vulcanverse is a joint product of Vulcan Company, Benson Studios, and Creatisoft Solutions. The 3D construction machine will use elements from Blender, Unity, Clara, and Babylon, and will be called Vulcan Eyes 3D. And this looks like a picture of the game right here. There's a guy. He's looking at some sort of nuclear silo thing there. All right. So within the game, there are, there are be no limits. All right. There'll be no limits <clears throat> to what landowners can build on their land, on their own land. Different types of terrain, shades, objects, animations, and special effects are available. The users of the game move with, with avatars that can be equipped with different clothing. For the design of the clothes, the team of Vulcanverse is working together with Block Fashion, a subsidiary of the fashion label Toy and Moy. All land, items, and other tradable goods will be available on the Vulcan marketplace. The project is still in development, but the first piece of land, one kilometer's worth, squared, is to be sold from July this year. So they're going to roll it out in July. Uh, each piece of land is assigned to an NFT token, non-fungible token, which cannot be replicated or destroyed. The assignment of these tokens to an owner marks the claim of ownership for exactly the piece of land which is coupled with the token. The tokens are generated by the Vulcan engine which is also used for other projects such as Verit Art T, Vera Arty, Block Babies, a ninja trading card game, and a mode app, mode D app, as well as a TBA AutoPass certification program to be published soon by VeChain, longtime partner DNBGL. So, bang, and then blah, blah, blah. These are the COVID things we read about. We're not going to read about those, but here. So here's a new video game. Well, it's not just a video game. It's an actual virtual world is what it's supposed to be like you're going to be able to buy land on it in it and then uh, uh build on it right so you'll build your own piece of land and then there'll be a neighbor you right you'll go visit the neighbor or whatever on their land and blah 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 but it's a little game thing um all right so like i said not the usual like yesterday, V chain with Bayer Pharma fucking Suticles. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mega. You know, but you know, everything, everything can't just be mega. Uh oh, what was it? Uh -oh. <laughs> sometimes you get the chicken, sometimes you get the feathers. So let's move on, brothers. Bang! What we got here? Here's everybody We're right here in one lick. Bang! Spy lady. Love you, lady. See you, lady. Bang! Beautiful brawlies. Umbrella people. Love you guys. See you guys. Bang. Hurricane Master. You haven't been around for a while. Where you been, brother? Love you, brother. See you, brother. Bye. Papa Doc. Love you, brother. See you, brother. Bye. Gut ding. Love you, brother. See you, brother. Bye. Son of a bitch right here. Look, look. Bye. Look, look. Bye. Look, look. Bang. Got you, Ronkers. <laughs> Love you, brother. See you, brother. Bye. Ben him. Love you, brother. See you, brother. Bye. Radster, our brother from Prague. Love you, brother. See you, brother. Bye. DP Entertainment. So, brother. Yes, DP. Use that saying in one of your comics. Use the saying I told you, that Nigerian saying. What did it, how did it go again? The child that does not feel warmth from the village will burn it down that he may feel warmth from the fire. Urgh. <laughs> you understand that shit? Marinate on that one, brother. Look, look, soul, brother. Bye, Larry, brother. Bye. Oh, that's some deep shit right there. Some deep old African sayings right there, boy. Look, look. Right? That shit's probably thousands of years old. Some shit like that. Bye, Daryl Duran. All right. Well, that's that old mama stuff. We're a week all around. Stay safe, everyone. And if at all possible, stack. <laughs> Yes, sweetie. Bye. Let me see you, see you, sweetie.
Bang. All right. And then this there, four X. So look, let's just do this real quick. And what do we got? This is nothing happened. So I showed you guys all these yesterday. So, all right. So let's just show you one. And that's basically what happened the whole week. So here it is. Here's the beginning of the week. These two lines, beginning of the week. So here's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and today. It's now 538. So the market's just closed 38 minutes ago. So on Monday, nothing happened. On Tuesday, you saw I made all that money. Bye. Then I tried to get into the market and it stopped me out. Then I got back in. It teased me. And then it went down. Then it teased me. Then I went down. Then it teased me last night. And so I just took that money out there because it's a triple, it's a quadruple top. One, two, three. Once we got to the fourth top, I said, fuck it, took the money. And as you can see, it went down, but even topped again. So we're in a five top. One, two. Two, three, four, five. So, as you can see, so that would be called major beep. Let me put this line here so you can see it. That's, a, that's what's known in the business as resistance. <laughs> major resistance. Bang, look, bang. Bang, bang, bang. Five off the line. So, that's all that happened. Uh, that went down last night. Uh, oh, this piece of shit right here. This one fucked me up. I actually cashed out for a loss on this one uh, right here. Wait, where was it? Right, because I had gotten in here, and then it went down, but I had my stop way down there, and then, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. It went down, stopped me out. Then I got back in here, and then it was going, going, and then I saw it turning around, so I said, fuck this. I'm going to stop myself out so I don't lose any money. Yeah, and then all of a sudden, wham, it went my way, so I missed that one. Uh, the frustrations of a forex trader so that's it that was it fuck it friday man let's get the fuck out of here bye all right uh, get back to it next week fuck you know what i mean get back to it next week look we made all the like i said right it's good when you make the money all at the beginning of the week and then you just protect profits and so that's what happened like i showed you the tuesday trade boom all that money and then it was basically me just half-assing it. Well, not half-assing, but just taking money out any single time I made any. So, all right. Ricardo, brother, tutto. Larry, brother, see you, brother. Bang. Chief Bivizo. From the Pasquayaki tribe. Each hand holders. Larry, brother, see you, brother. Bang. All right, that's enough. Look, yes, that's enough. Bang. Let's go. Bang. Yeah. Welcome back. All right, guys. We had a great show for you today. And just a quickie, just a quickie, a couple of little onboardings just to clean it up. I had to clean up the onboardings for the week, right? We had all those mega onboardings, and then we had India and China earlier in the week. Then we had the we had the 401k earlier in the week. Then we had the Dagon retirement fund earlier in the week. Just mega stuff, mega. So I just figured tonight would just be a uh, today would just be a nice quick show, and then um, I still have some stuff for you tomorrow, which is going to require some deep talk. And so that's why today I'm just like, yeah, let's have a quickie. So look, get you back to your wives and lives. So uh, we had a great show for you today. Uh, we talked about ontology to empower new energy vehicles. I don't know. That's It said new energy vehicle, but it sounded like some sort of delivery thing or something. Right? And I don't know, guys. Anyways, it is what it is, and that's ontology's thing. So bang ontology hodlers. And then I ordered to commercialize data. Now, as you know, I'm not versed in that kind of fucking fuckery techie techie like that. So <laughs> I don't really understand what that meant. But it sounded like there was some definite verification of data there to make sure that it's proper. Uh, to make sure the data is valid. And then the data gets sent through the... I don't know, it's through something, and then then it goes to that third-party app where people can then, I guess, buy the data, commercialize. Commercialize means you're going to sell it, isn't it? Isn't that what that means? And so you can buy some sort of data from them. So, look, that's that one, brothers. <laughs> and then V-Chain, virtual 3D game. So, like I said, you know, sometimes you get the chickens, sometimes you get the feathers. And... uh you know, V-Chain with Bayer yesterday, well, that was mega. Today, V-Chain with this 3D game thing, whatever. But, I mean, look, it's an onboarding, and 
That's all it is. So, anyways, that's it for the day. Just a nice, light, quick Friday afternoon show. And we'll go on with our weekends. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. So, let's shill it and kill it. Let's get you back to your wives and lives. Subscribe below. Press the bell. And you get an automatic notification when I do this show. It's the greatest show on earth. The greatest show in the multiverse. Look, look, my name is Shamari Clark. I love talking money. love talking crypto. This is the favorite time of my day. So, thank you for having me in your home. And I will see you tomorrow. Yes, we got some yap, yap, to yap, yap about. <laughs> so, we'll do that at some point in the day. And uh, that's that. So, subscribe here. Boom. Watch this video here. Bang. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. My name is Shamar Clark. Always watching our money. Always on duty. You dag on a ride. Bye. Over and out.